we want to welcome you to this week's uh, lesson of our daily encounter. Let us breathe and pray. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, even for yet another week as we continue to go back to our drawing board to get our authentic self. Continue guiding us, O Holy Spirit of God, even as we study this week. In Jesus' name we do pray with thanksgiving. Amen. We are now well into uh, almost the week, day 27 of uh, uh, the, of the, the, the day, 40 days of Lent, and we are still studying the 40 days soul fast. And today our lesson is decreeing or declaring. Uh, a quote by Hellsby says, Prayer is the conduit through which power from heaven is brought to earth. Jesus said that the greatest faith he had ever seen on earth was that of a Gentile centurion, a soldier in the service of his king. The centurion, whose story we read in Matthew chapter number 8, understood the power of words in decreeing. The soldier believed that Jesus as a representative of his God the Father or the King of the universe, had the authority to speak and his servant who was at home would be well. He didn't find it necessary to go with Jesus to his house to go so that he could lay hands on this, uh, his servant who was unwell. And so this is exactly what ha happened. He said to Jesus, just say a word and my servant will be well. And the Bible records that at this particular hour, when he went back home, he was told at that hour when Jesus spoke the words, the servant got well. Other times, there are several places in the scripture where we, we find miracles and great wonders happening through the word of the mouth. Moses spoke the ten plagues in uh, the land of Egypt when he was content standing with the fellow, and, and it would happen what he would say. And by his word of mouth, when the fellow would come back to his senses, the plagues would be stopped. Ezekiel uh, spoke to a field of dry bones, and they lost up and became a mighty army. Elijah spoke, and it didn't rain for three years, and, uh, and then when he spoke again, it did rain. After Peter and John spoke, a man was healed. Proverbs 10 and verse 20 declares that the tongue of the righteous is as choice silver. Silver is a very a good conductor of power or electricity. And these people we have mentioned, Moses, Ezekiel, Elijah, Peter and John, uh, they were able they were just mere mortals, but they were able to bring down the power of God as a silver conducts electricity just by speaking the word of God. Why? Because their hearts and their, they could be able to communicate the will of God. Jesus himself taught the disciples to declare God's will be done on earth when he was teaching them how to pray. Uh, so that the spiritual yam would manifest itself in the material yam. You'll never live up to your potential without the ability to decree with your words in the spiritual yam, bringing God's will to, to you, uh, to earth, and warring against the forces of evil that would hinder it. But would God entrust you and me, my brother and my sister, with such a power. Uh, then, if he is going to entrust us, our hearts must be free of wrong motivations. For out of the heart, the mouth speaks. A heart that is aligned with God will lead, leads to light thoughts and words, which open the door to power that can bring water from a lock. You Brother and sister have the authority and power to decree on behalf of the king of kings. 
what is my responsibility and yours as these matters of decreeing and declaring is concerned? It is up to you and me to guard my heart and also govern my mindset, harness my thoughts, discipline my behavior, and direct my words so that no one, and then in this particular case, I need to realize no one else can take responsibility for my life or even for your life, and also my purpose, or my destiny, other than myself. When Christ come back, will we be among us those he will tell, well done, good and faithful servant. Let us step out in faith, and take responsibility, and watch what we decree and declare. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, have our great and wonderful week.